I'm finally home. But this time, without my robot army. Oh, I do have one more robot left. And he ran away. Strange things came to Lean Bean in his dreams. Any time he rest, it was plagued by a barrage of strange visions of past events and perhaps future ones. They felt familiar, yet he did not understand them. Books had taught him well, but not well enough to understand what such dreams are. After his mind settled back into reality, he set off to continue his favorite activity, to draw a sword at anyone that dare approach him and do his best to feel the rush of taking another life. Oh wait, again that experience. I'm not staggering either, which is amazing. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, they're not taking that fucking ration pack, I promise. Come on, there's got to be food here somewhere. Yeah, what you gonna get? Nothing. Stay hungry. Damn, I shot him straight between the fucking eyes. Like, I shot him on the bridge of his nose. Gonna have been packing all that ass. What in oblivion is that? Whoa, Daniel, future possible comment here. Great start with the video and everything, but what the fuck was that? Where did you get almost 80 strength with a race that has a strength penalty? <laughs> what are you doing there? You cheating or something, boy? I'm not cheating. I promise. I forgot I recorded this footage when wrapping up the last episode where I did a pro Kenshi player move called <coughs> where I let my game run for an entire night, real life, and used an auto clicker to move Lean Bean while over encumbered to raise his strength while the last of the remaining robots protected him. I forgot to include it in the last episode because I wanted to get it out in time for you kind people. But back to the video.
Fight after fight, throat after throat cut, blood watered and became one with the dirt and sand, with Lean Bean as its farmer, and the seeds he chose to sow were that of battle and violence, and it fed him better than any meal ever could. Little by little he was getting more and more competent with that shiny sword he stole, getting closer to something of a swordsman. Kind of like how I'm getting closer to get enough points in the McDonald's mobile app to get a single night with Grimace. And I must stress the fact that he can't say no to anything. There we go, there goes two engineering research. There we go, some real repair. On one of his nightly stalks for more victims to hone his blade against, he found an interesting one indeed. But this was no victim, but another sword user more than capable of clashing with Lean Bean. And so, Lean Bean tasted real competition that night. Bubble butt booties, oh my god, they just hit the spot. I don't want peace. I WANT PROBLEMS, ALWAYS! After harassing the poor traveler and persevering through the cuts and blows dealt to him, he whittled them down and claimed victory from his first real foe that cool night in the Badlands. From now on he would seek and defeat anyone he deemed a true fighter in his eyes and would continue to do so until every last one had fallen to his blade. That night he found his true calling and his deepest desire. Oh no. There's a single fucking <laughs> paladin out here enslaving me. It's just a single paladin. Or a sentinel. I can take him if he didn't take my sword. Oh, I did. No one escapes. My mind's telling me no! But the crack out! What? The crack team's telling me yes! What are you doing? He's getting shot in the mouth with the fucking crossbow. My extra crossbow. He took my crossbow and my sword. But little did he know, I had a secret, more dubious <laughs> second crossbow. Stop that. Defiant servant. Oh no, bitch. Give me that bag. And now in the most poetic thing I've ever seen in this game, he's being enslaved. You are mine now, Jumbo. Some fucking justice in Kenshi, finally. Aha, look at that. Hopefully I can... I th oh. What the fuck? When did these guys get here? Wait. Oh, no. I'm about to be very popular. That would explain why it's been so quiet. Uh, let's try and get this up before they actually swim in. The fucking holy nation. Amazing. Thankfully, I don't think they have any acid resistance, so they're pretty fucked. What? It already ended? Are they really leaving? I'm literally building a crossbow for them, and they're leaving. I might be able to take these guys. Let's get some free experience.
Nice, nice. Oh yeah. See how much I get for getting up immediately. Because when you get up surrounded by enemies, you should get a lot. I think that's oh yeah. That's quite a bit. So, always good to get up as soon as you can if you won't get put into a coma. Look at all the fucking legs rolling down. Not knock. You can't run from your mistakes, you. Well, where I'm from we never forget our enemies. On behalf of the Empire, die. Oh. Hopefully I can down one of these guys and get some good gear. Ooh, that didn't do too much damage. Oh, that one did. That one hit him good. Alright, that is a slight problem. Dismantle the furniture first. Damn. He sure smoked my ass. Nice. I might be able to get one of them downed. Oh, they are like fucked up, fucked up. I'm gonna be swimming out there to collect some easy gear soon. Oh, yeah. Easy experience. I'm about to come. Up. Damn. A type 3 sword? That one's. Better than what I have, holy sh... Okay, this was huge. Oh, oh. That was a hell of a fucking haul. Nice, I got the most important ones, the head and the chest, because those are the organic parts, the ones that take longer to heal. That is good news. Green Bean was becoming widespread and infamous with piles of his victims littering the surrounding area of his acid-surrounded lair, which was proving too difficult for anyone to attempt to infiltrate to put an end to his reign of terror, no matter the rewards offered. He was truly hated and feared, but now for a good reason. Almost like a boogeyman of the wastelands. With a new suit of protective armor, Lean Bean was almost indestructible. Most of the fights he picked were in his favor, despite being a single fighter. Not even the towns and villages were safe from him. Those who rarely survived desperately spread the word of the tall, sword-wielding monstrosity they encountered that had horns larger than a bull's, fangs and teeth sharper than that of a blood spider, height that rivaled that of the tallest beak things, lightning-fast metal arms that could break a sword in half, and worst of all, a bloodlust behind cold, dark eyes that drew away the very life of those who dare meet them. Holy shit, that was the coolest combo fucking ever. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Dude, these guys just don't give a fuck that I'm cutting everyone out. Oh, hey, Logan, the guy I can re recruit. Too bad I'm chopping him to pee. Oh, fuck. This is that was the first time I've talked to someone and it was by accident. That was the first time my character has spoken to someone. <laughs> oh, hey guys, I'm here to join the Shinobi Thieves. Psych! 
You are sad imitation of ninja. You are the imitation crab of, of fucking ninjas. Fight! Fight! Got him! <laughs> oh, hey, there's a bed in here I can use, that's right. There's a whole bed that I can use to heal. Uh, excuse me, I'm sleeping. Sleeping in here. I'm sleeping in here. Can y'all stop chopping me to pieces? I'm trying to sleep in here. Alright, I gotta skip town for a minute. Those retards will never catch me. They caught me. Man, the fucking tiger should be able to read the fucking- Or be, should be able to wear the martial artist biting landings. No good, bro. No good. Alright, I've joined the shinobi thieves! Yay! Now I killed them all. So I can use their facilities however the hell I want now. Let me get some training in here. I just love that house and the fucking hub that you can sleep in for free. It's amazing. Nice. There's even some lockpick training. What's in here? And oh, some fabric. Fabric's kind of hard to get. I'll take that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you who? I'm here to slaughter you! Knock, knock, motherfucker! I'm here to barter with violence. You see, I'm incredibly illiterate, so I can't count out the money even if I didn't have a hypothetical billion dollar debt. So allow me to calculate the sword swings it will take to kill each and every one of you. Getting stronger, getting stronger. Motherfuckers, I'll chop you to pieces, yeah. The bug master, eh? I don't think I'm taking the bug master yet. Wait a minute. Someone's healing. Someone's healing here. They're playing dead and healing! I know you're awake! Right, other than the, ironically, taking uh, down the Tower of Ninjas, Dust Bandit is my, my first solo adventure. You fucked with the wrong bug. I'm about to go fucking dunk on your leader. They're softening me up before I go to the Dust Bandit Tower, so I'm gonna have to go rest. Thankfully, uh, that one place I slaughtered the innocents, the innocent residents of, vets are free, so I don't have to run home to heal. You! You're trying to crawl away! Bring me that ass! I was kinda hoping his leg would fly off. How's my health looking? Not too bad. I might just take on the, the tower now. Gates shut and everything. Is that the leader? Oh yeah, there he is. Dust King. Standing out in the front yard. Just waiting for the next sad sop to try and challenge him. Why is he so fucking big? Oh my god. He's like some fucking uh, Fist of the North Star type shit. I never realized how big he was compared to a regular person. Oh, look. Big failed. Come on. Uh, I mean, you're gonna get shot. Pick the lock. All right. Open sesame. Excuse me, big retard with the green shirt. I'm here to chop you to fucking pieces. All right, dust hard. You're about to eat Nippon steel. Dude, I already took down the dust king. Holy shit. He has a... <laughs> He he doesn't have shit. He has standard grade gear. That's that's it. Fucking damn. I'm gonna beat y'all's ass with your leader's sword. How about that? Your leader was a sad man that sells of elderberries. Damn! I just hit that guy. Like, oh my god! I'm ch fucking him up. All right, knock it off with the harpoon turrets. I'm serious. Knock that shit off. Oh boys. Yeah, there's a lot of guys in here. You guys have a severe lack of bitches. Y'all got you guys must have that broke back mountain fucking vibe going on. 
I didn't see a single babe in here. I didn't see a single babe. Get your ass back here. Oh, a specialist toothpick. Don't mind if I do, homie. Don't mind if I scooby dooby do. You have one arm, fool. Fuck off. You know what? You're gonna help me test out my new crossbow. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Holy shit, that was smooth as fuck. There's a person from the United Cities here called Cat. I'm gonna talk to him. I'll let him, I'll bust him out. If he joins, I'll just immediately dismiss him. I'll do one nice thing. Alright. Finally free. He's hostile to me. Oh shit, I'm shooting at him. <laughs> Calm down, Lean Bean. Finally free your hero. That's the only good thing I've done so far. Yosh, new sword. <laughs> Yosh? <laughs> Yosh, new sword? Who said that? It was him. <laughs> He just looted a sword and was excited about it. He, he keeps going on. Excuse me, I'm here for a Hiver Chain shirt. Now, am I taking this the easy way or the hard way? I'm gonna lockpick this chest. If anyone has a problem with it, let me know. All right. I'll be opening this. If y'all want to try to stop me again, feel free. A single building material. Jesus Christ. Oh, I got the blueprints. Yeah, I'll be taking that. I might as well take that. I might as well take that. I might as well take that. Yeah, I'm taking from the hive. Do something about it, you scrawny neck little motherfucker. After slaying a village of his own blooded kin and family, a family in which he shared no fondness for, the same family rejected him naturally, as the pheromones that controlled them as a colony were long gone from Lean Bean, and so he was a stranger to them. He didn't have any memories of having life prior to waking up alone in the desert. Perhaps that's why he instinctively crawled back home, to the high village in the desert, to steal from them. Was he a mighty leader that got banished for a grave mistake? Or was he defective and dumped from the hive as a result? It is unsure, but nonetheless, the deformed stranger was ostracized, as all hivers are, when they survive the pheromone withdrawals and gain free will as a result, deformed or not. His antenna was no longer a relay for loyalty and commands, but more so, the horn of a devil. A devil that saw his former kin as just more screaming meat to cut through in the path to get what he wanted. Once inside, he was able to locate blueprints for proper shirts and under armor written by his own kindred hivers, and so began great efforts to make his own, in the comfort of his gloomy fortress. With more armor, he could become even more durable and powerful in combat, and in turn challenge more spectacular fighters and acquire their extravagant weapons in his burning quest to become the best in the world. A quest that he would follow vehemently, no matter the cost.